we have a two strand diamond knot or lanyard knot doubled here with a loop. This is shown in a video on my side by side Ranger Pace Counter beads. I'll link that video here. In that video, the beads are on the two strands, the sliding beads. Then I tie the fixed knot with a little loop on the bottom. So that's exactly the situation you have here, and it's a perfect video to show you this part. Then what I've done is I've made a paracord ranger bead, or a paracord bead, which I also have a video for, on the end of the loop. That is a sliding bead, and it acts as a stopper to prevent the wooden toggle and the adjustment bead from coming off the end of the loop. So the, uh, the last part here is a small wooden toggle, about an uh, inch and a half, two inches long, I made uh, with a twig. I, car I cored the hole out with the, uh, with the tip of my knife because I didn't have a drill. And then on the two strands, rather than the one strand, like the bead stopper, on the two strands I tied another paracord ranger bead, which I will link in this video. That's the makeup of this. Now I'll show you how it can be used to attach to a belt or a backpack. Okay, now I'll show how to attach this to my belt. Okay. I'm going to take this, put it through the top of the belt. Right? This bead slides so the toggle's location can be adjusted. Then I'll pass it through the loop and just cinch it up to my belt like that. See that? And I'll slide the wooden toggle down and then slide the paracord bead down to lock it, lock the toggle. And that's it, securely attached. Now attaching to the backpack, same thing. Pass it over the top, through the loop, cinch it down, slide down the toggle, slide down the lock, <clears throat> Got it.